three, two, one. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Ash on Comics. Uh, I'm Ash, in case you didn't know. And uh, this is today's comic, uh, Hotel. Uh, here's the full page, what it looks like. Uh, this is by the AWA Upshot. Um, this is just my review of the book. There were four launch titles by AWA Upshot. And uh, here's what it is. Uh, if if you haven't, maybe listen to my uh, my video that I did on the Resistance. That's the longer video where I explain everything about AWA Upshot. Uh, this is just going to be a quick review of this book. Now, the first things first. Um, the title, Hotel with two L's, is kind of dumb. I get what they're trying to do. I'm like, oh, look, see, it says hell, right? Like, oh, this is a horror book. Uh, why didn't you just call it Hotel Hell? Like, I don't know. I guess it's neither here nor there for the comic quality. Uh, so let's move on. Now, first things first. I did do uh, a video on another book by AWA called uh, Red Red Border. I think it's what <laughs> I already forgot the name of it. That doesn't bode well. Um, it's late where I'm where I am recording right now, but. Um, one of the things I commented about that book was that the art was too clean for the type of book that it was. Now, I think Will Conrad's a pretty decent artist. I think he's more suited to superhero stuff from the big two. Um, and I said, I really wish that that particular book had a nittier, like a grittier art style, not so realistic. It would help the horror sense. Now, this book, I think the art is not quite as good as Will Conrad, but it's better suited towards the, uh, the subject matter at hand. And so it worked for me. This felt like, I guess maybe because Vertigo trained me to think this way, this felt like it belonged as a Vertigo book. Um... And so you can see here, the art here is, it's less technically proficient in the, as, as far as, you know, illustration, but it's moodier. And I think that's very important when you're doing a horror book is the mood. Hotel, I want to call it Hotel Hell. Hotel is, kind of reminds me of Twilight Zone meets like a creep show comic that sort of thing um this is very much a uh, it's not an anthology i think it's going to turn into an anthology but not the kind of where it's each issue has multiple stories in it but where each issue is different stories kind of like twilight zone is like each episode is like a completely unrelated story so in this one it's a pregnant woman and she shows she's driving down the road and she's on the run from her abusive husband. And the book starts off, it says the sign. Maybe you've driven down Route 66 a hundred times and never seen the sign, but tonight you did. That exit takes you down a road that most travelers will never discover. Some things not all eyes are meant to see. But if you're in need, if you're truly desperate for shelter, sanctuary or secrecy, then perhaps you'll find it. Or maybe it's a case of it finding you. And so Periot Courts is the name of this little hotel. It's got four rooms. And there's this weird creepy dude <laughs> that runs, um, as you saw in the beginning, that runs the place. So this pregnant woman, she's on the run from her husband. And I don't really want to spoil this book for you. The whole point of um, reading a book like this is to see kind of what happens. As you can see, there's a little bit of nudity and things. This is definitely for a mature audience. This is definitely Vertigo-style books. 
Um, I want to just give you some of the art, as you can see. Um, and uh, I'm kind of at a loss here. So this is a character that the, the girl meets that I think is going to end up maybe being in the next issues. There's four rooms, four issues. So I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take a leap guess that each issue will be about one of the guests. Um, and maybe all their stories will somehow come across. That'd be kind of a clever way of doing things. Um, so uh, there's not really much I can talk about the story. Um, and if I go too far, it's going to spoil things. So I'm, I'm kind of going to stop here. This woman is on the run from her abusive husband she's she's got she's pregnant she's trying to get away at night she sleeps and she has these dreams where she talks to her baby and the baby talks back then she wakes up um, you don't know if this is real or not there's this little demon baby sucking on her breast um and uh it's pretty creepy um i i liked how this all played out like i said it felt very much like a twilight zone type of story um a little bit a little bit more on the horrific side of twilight zone if that's your cup of tea if the art is intriguing you and you're into trying out new stuff try this out i liked this actually better than border was it red red border simply because I like my horror a little bit more on the supernatural side. So that got me. Plus, unlike Red Border where it felt like just the tip of the iceberg, this felt like a, a story in itself. Like I felt like I got a whole episode, you know, if you will. So I enjoyed that. It's not really my cup of tea as far as something I would seek out to buy. But I think for people who like this stuff, uh, they will enjoy it. Um so, yeah, solid effort. Uh, not a home run, but, uh, you know, this is good for people who like this stuff. So, um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. And if, if you do, let me know. Uh, put down the comments. And, uh, you know, I will see you next time.